Hey guys, Lionheart here. We got a quick one for you today. An interesting one to say the least. Uh, we were waiting for this update ever since they announced it at their last yearly um, big anniversary event uh, live stream. And that was the update on the finishing Mori or the Mori rework as it were. We're all familiar with the perk rework and we're all familiar with the uh, that big update that just came by. Um, apparently this was supposed to be with it, but needed to be pushed back. Uh, we're just going to get right into it, reading off the first paragraph. Um, not the first paragraph, the second one with last standing. When all other survivors are dead, dying, hooked, or have escaped, you become the last standing. Both you, both your, and the killer senses are heightened, granting you a wider field of view. Rescuing a survivor will end the last standing phase, but being downed as the final survivor, on the other hand, will trigger the finishing mori. So from what I understand, now, if you have, say, we're gonna do it, we're gonna list off a few situations here. There's one person on the hook, okay? They're currently hooked. You have two people slugged, okay? This will set off the last standing. This will this will set off that phase. You have one person hooked, you have two people in the dying stage. So three survivors are technically lighting up what need to be lit up to activate this phase. And the fourth survivor is given a wider field of view um, and that can be ended. The last standing phase will end if either one of those survivors are picked up off the floor from the dying stage, or if the person is, is uh, healed off the hook or taken off the hook. And then we can also look at the situation if there's three people on the hook and you're the last survivor running around, or if there's three survivors on the ground slugged and you're the last survivor uh, running around, the last standing phase will activate. When the last survivor is down, the, tri the trial will draw to a cinematic end. So, both the survivor and the killer will be moved to a preset point of the map, free of any obstructions. You're going to get that good view for the Mori. They may get in the... that may get in the way. So, normally, we, we've all played with the uh, Moris around before, and we've seen them clip into weird objects and kind of get in the way to the beautiful killing animation. Uh, any survivor still in the trial will be killed by the entity and treated like a sacrifice. So, again, it just goes into a cinematic... Uh, Mori at the end of uh, the killer will automatically get the Mori and all survivors will see it and then everyone will just be sacrificed normally at the end once the uh, the final Mori goes off uh, which is very interesting to me how that works now with that comes the, the probably the most interesting thing to me so the Mori then the rework of the Mori is I think I'm fine with it I uh, with how it is right now I'm curious to see how it's actually gonna play when we get access to it on the next PTV but the next part is what really gets me. I'm not sure how I feel about it exactly. Uh, hope is not lost. With this new system in place, leaving a survivor on the ground, a, also known as slugging, I wonder why, may seem more appealing, opening the possibility of ending the match early. Because remember, if you have three people on the ground and you down the last survivor, everyone will just instantly die. So there, that, that can be a scenario now. When three people are slugged on the ground and there's one person left, if that last person also goes down, everyone just instantly dies on the ground at once. Uh, so that's why they're saying might be appealing, but, but the counter that, but the survivors aren't going to give up without a fight. After being left on the ground for 45 seconds, survivors will now gain the ability to pick themselves up without the need of any perks. The time is affected by recovery speed effects. I'm not sure exactly what this little uh, part means right here. The base is going to be 45 seconds, but say uh, if you're running up any of the uh, self pickup perks or the ones that are we're going to be looking at right after this perk update, I think if you have Unbreakable on, it's going to cut from 45 seconds uh, down to, say, we just did like half. It'd be like 22 seconds, 22.5 seconds, okay? I think that's what they're trying to say. If you run things that help you heal yourself quicker off the floor, uh, you'll get this uh, You'll get this quicker because I think the new recovery timer is going to be 45 seconds in total and obviously you can modify that with uh, any healing perks. Now getting on to those reworked perks, with both the Mori and the ability to pick yourself up now in the base kit, a handful of perks that grant these abilities will need adjustment. So on the uh, survivor side, which is interesting, the ability to pick yourself up has been removed from Unbreakable, Soul Guard, No Mither, and Boon Exponential because it's part of base kit. So I'm very curious to see how these are going to modify the base kit, uh, uh, the base kit, you know, self-res. Um, and then the Mori has been removed from Rancor and Devour Hope, which is also very interesting to me because Rancor would be very powerful with the base Mori being able to instant down and Mori someone right off the bat and kill them instantly. And then Devour Hope getting uh, Moris at five stacks. 
uh, they do replace it with something I think that is like an equal to it, but Rancor gets a severe nerf. Devour Hope, I actually believe, gets a buff from this. Um, in addition, these perks will now have changes. We'll see them on the PTB coming this Tuesday. Uh, Unbreakable now increases dying self-recovery speed. So right here, uh, by almost 100%. It used to be a lot lower in value, but I think this is meant to now uh, bring back your self-res to the speed it used to be before. Uh, Rancor, once all generators are powered, the Obsession Ore is revealed for 5 seconds, like it was before, and they are permanently inflicted with the exposed status effect. So, again, very similar, you just lose the ability to Mori someone, Mori that person as well. And then Devour Hope gets a change on its fifth token. Once five tokens have been earned, any survivor placed on the hook is instantly sacrificed, no matter the hook stage. So to me, that I think is a little better because you don't have to, you can now insta down someone with the exposed part of Devour Hope and then just place them on a hook and just take out a one, just one hook of survivor instantly. I think that would be, uh, that might actually be pretty good. And the last thing here, which I don't think is too much of a big deal, is just the rework on the Memento Mori offerings, making them Blood Point Edition gainers instead of, uh, obviously, where they used to be Moris before. Um, every one of them just giving you more and more Blood Points if you hit the uh, certain criteria. Uh, if you, so say, like with the Ebony Memento Mori, gain 20,000 Blood Points if at least four survivors are killed in the match, and it ends in a finishing Mori. Um, much like the perks changed down below, please keep in mind the offering changes will not be released without the finishing Mori system. So this is all gonna, all these perks, everything is being released all at once. Um, when this system is ready to be implemented, they say right here that 6.3 will not have, these new features will not be a part of 6.3. We will gain access to the PTB this coming Tuesday. Uh, let me just check the date real quick. That's going to be the 27th. So this coming, the September 27th, we'll have access to this PTB where we'll get a chance to play with the new Mori and the new uh, uh, self-res system. So I'm very curious to see how this is all going to play out. Um, very short update, but I think it's going to be it could potentially meta changing and uh, play style changing for a lot of killers. We'll have to... Um, talk more about this when the ptp gets there but uh thank you everyone for stopping by the video we're going to end it here uh let me know in the comments if you're excited about the mori changes i'm going to say uh preemptively i am excited so uh let me know i'll see you in the next one